In today's situational report, we are targeting awareness. In this breakdown, we're going to be highlighting Intel and how we use it. I'm going to be giving you an in-depth commentary of my thought process along with on-screen overlays to help you see what I'm seeing. This is a very aggressive lobby and I want you to observe how I only die once while engaging multiple teams. As the game unfolds, pay attention to my decisions based on the audio and visual cues and think about how you would push in the same scenario. We're going to be making mental notes of the four pillars of awareness, pings, minimap, counting, and audio. Pulling all that information in a constant, ever-changing fashion, we can make better decisions and ultimately position ourselves smarter in the fight. After the gameplay, stick around for the top three moments for a slow motion sit rep replay. As always, if you're new to the channel and you're trying to up your Warzone skills, smash the subscribe button so you don't miss a single guide. Let's get into the gameplay. All right, so we've seen that Snake has pushed out towards his team at Harbor. We're just gonna get the high ground. We see him go down right away. He's starting to self and he gets thirsted, which means there's somebody right on him. Go ahead and take out the first. We got three pings, one on the roof with me and immediately engaging. Second one down and they're one by the buy station, one in the water. I'm going to pull back over here, get away from the mortar a little bit, plate up, fresh flying on the snake, distracted by the guy in the steps, and fall right into that mortar, right after we just looked at it. Friendly kill cams. Let's see, the snake is back to engaging again, and our two teammates are back there. Snake goes down a second time. Vehicles flying in, lots of action, so I fall back towards the teammates. I see that we have friendly mortar, and I go ahead and grab my weapons. At this point, I assess that I have enough teammates to continue the push. Shots above on the radar. Go ahead and hit the reload real quick. Not over push, and sure enough, he's waiting for me on the banister. Immediately go back downstairs because they're going to revenge that kill. Again, snaking around the outside. Never stay in the same spot after you kill somebody. They really want this buy station. They really want to buy their loadout. I hear a bomb drone. More mortars. And a friendly mortar. So we're going to hold the back of this room and wait for them to push. He's already pushed up on green. Still holding for the revenge teammates. See one there. Take my escape route. And then pop back in because he's not expecting it and knock him out of the corner of my eye I saw somebody else drop in I played up hear the footsteps on the pavement and prevent the thirst again getting out of the open he has a self he should burn it he did not gonna overloot here I just need a sub we're in an active firefight. It is not time to be looking at 27 goodies on the ground. They're right behind us, over there by chemical. Watch out. Again, waiting. 25. Vehicle's gonna blow up. Need to get away from that. Trying to assess which direction the threat's coming from, because we're kind of in the lowest point of these two POIs. I gotta decide that I have enough cash and time to buy my weapons. I got fresh pings from chemical. Here, corner. Here, somebody tiptoe around this building. Decide to push him straight into the water. As soon as he's thirsted, I see the radar two pings. One in the air, live ping for the teammate. As I'm climbing up the ladder, I'm following that red smoke all the way down. And again, waiting for the threat that they gave me with those pings before. This window is probably one of the harder pushes on Rebirth, so I need to get out of the line of sight. I got a high alert ping off the back here. I noticed that we're on portable radar. It's time to get upstairs. I don't want to shoot the radar and give away my position. It's not worth it. I see a Betty at the top. Can't tell if that's friendly or not. That's a teammate, so could be safe. More red streaks. Ooh, he's right on me. Help the teammate. More high alert. I'm getting off of the peak of this building, trying to keep that line of sight. 
Still getting a left high alert ping. Live pinging that guy as he goes down. That means we got a team at industry, and I got a fresh team on the helipad. He took the helicopter, so we team fire him. <laughs> he drops out of the chopper. Water tower? Taking shots from water tower. Again, using the angle. Two fly ins over prison courtyard, and a fresh zip over on prison roof. Mid tier water. I know I'm on UAV because we have a red border on the mini map here. On the loadout industry, yep. Fresh flying on that loadout of industry. Calling out to the to the entire team. Yeah. We're all up here, so it's time to spread out a little bit. I got smoke on that guy over there at industry. Decided to get a better angle over here. Taking the zip over for speed. They're not going to realize that I'm over here already unless they were watching it. Still fresh pings over a water tower, and I don't know where these shots came from. Saw him out of the corner of my eye almost immediately after dropping. He's deep at industry on a box, so I'm going to fall back so I can drop safely. Double checking, and another mortar on me. I don't see him. There he is. Shocks a grenade at me, gotta slide past it and aggressively push. There's no choice there other than to back off and see a snake go down in the tunnel. He leaves me a live ping. I decide to push him. Slide past, break his camera, and then immediately juke left. And I let my teammate know that tunnel is dead. That way he can land back on his loot. I'm waiting for the revenge tactic. Every time I kill somebody, I'm backing off but aiming that site in hopes that they'll push me. I have no radar intel, so it's time to buy a UAV. I don't have enough cash, so I'm trying to get that elevation so I can see. Last ping is on the water tower. That's coming from yellow. This bright bunny suit is out here hopping around. Mounting on there because this distance is quite a bit and it pays cool. off. I'm able to get that long shot, but I hear footsteps below me. E Ego Chow's very bad push in his part. We've got some smoke activity going off and some flares over by our loadout. Still have one ping below from that last kill, though. Trying to get lower, see where I can find it. And he finds the snake. I slide up on him immediately. Take him out. He loves to throw grenades for some reason. More high alert. Left and right side usually means they're in the air. And sure enough, he pushes. Weak drop shot. Can't get the job done. Continuing to peek that door. I wanted to see about the revenge threat. But while doing so, I'm resetting my plates and ammo. Snake now flies back in on me to get loot. And I'm starting to wonder what's going on over there. Chemical. See a pink bunny rabbit. Action hero over to the top. Go all the way back to the end and start over from what the, the push that I was doing before. See him at the end. Put some shots into him. Should have probably waited till about the second skylight here to take those shots. And then I saw the bunny zip back up. And the second teammate zip back up. So now they're going back up to their teammates at prison, which means there's a four man up there. And Snake and I are alone. Start opening crates so that we can balance that uh, resurgence. Snake decides to go ahead and buy one. And now we're going to assess where we're going to go next. I don't want to push up to, to prison. I don't know the threat there. And there's too many elevation challenges ahead of that. Green immediately goes down at the loadout. Which means they could be inside. Chemical. Or that could be from prison. Got a live pink down here. At the orange power plant. Get a knock. So decide to push up. And get the thirst. Don't over push. I don't know how many teammates are there at the harbor buy station. 
So I'm going to pull back towards the building. See the pink bunny again, the roof. That bright skin is the worst thing you could be wearing Locked in this game roof. mode. It's up there with them. I'm going to get some elevation. See the mortar on the roof again. Ragdoll pink bunny suit just falling to the ground. Uh-oh. Seven people left, two teams. Got a team down at power plant, and somebody is still lighting up our teammate. Lighting up the sneaky snake from inside. I'm pretty sure they're on the water tower, and that confirmed with the ping. Farm in you. Communicate that to my teammates, so we back off this way. I'm going to hold the power position near the buy station. Buy station inside the final zone is probably one of the hottest spots next to high ground. We have both. Depends on which way the circle pulls. I decide that I want to take control of the high ground by giving them some encouragement to jump down towards us. There you go. Put that on the next highest one. Get a live ping on the helipad. Start hitting him. He's got a sniper. I back off. I peek. He's still sniping at me. Gotta keep moving. Someone's upstairs with the snake. He jumps out. I'm not gonna chase him. I don't know how many are down there. Got a flare in pocket and another teammate goes down. Think about going up there to try and res him. Luckily he falls off. Teammates coming up to hold, but I got a high alert, so I'm going to use the security for this. They're coming. Snake is back in the game from their buyback, and I'm ready to go out and pop the flare. I see another buyback go off, which means there's at least one team under us. Guy peeks the top. More mortars coming off the back side of the building, so I'm going to hold the safest spot here. Wait for someone to push. Bait him with some shots. I alerted from the top of the steps. Heard in the box here, waiting for the second guy. Don't know where he fell back to. I hear the footsteps, so he could be behind the generator. And he's on the ladder. No aim assist on the railing. Pole is coming off the building toward water tower. Not sure if they're going to push up from the bottom and then fly out to us. If you fly out prematurely, they're going to have the elevation on us from our own building. So I wait. Still three people down here. Get one knocked. Snake gives off the mm -hmm. ping for a bouncing Betty. Don't want to drop straight down there. So I take a back window. More flares. Don't get off enough shots in time, so I go for the emergency flare just in case. Use the mask to back off inside the building. It's 4v1. Try hard, Timmy takes it home for us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks I'm joking. So let's break down some slow motion replay. See this guy pop in the door. Immediately hits me with a grenade. So take my escape route. Jump back in, because he's engaging my teammate. And as I'm killing him, out of the corner of my eye, I see the guy drop in. I can't drop outside, because of the mortar, and there's also a dot on the hill with an up arrow to my left. So I need a plate. I see the mortar's gone, and I go to engage. He's already jumped down to jump on my teammate. Go ahead and take him out. But there's still a dot above so I have to get back inside so here snake just went down in the tunnel but he left me a ping I know I'm on UAV because I have a red border so I make a decision to slide in hoping he's weak and break his camera but then slide all the way back jump all the way back left to take him out again I'm moving away from the dot that's on the minimap because I know that they're going to push back in and get me getting out of the line of sight hitting the reload gives me a second chance to hold this door. Once I know that the door is clear momentarily, 
I signal to my teammate that the loot is safe, and I move back up to hold the threat for them to come back for their stuff. At that point, I decide to go ahead and push the next dot by moving up to the top of industry and checking every corner. I don't know where they're hiding, and I want intel. I don't have enough money here for a UAV, so I get the elevation. Keeping in mind that water tower is still pinged, I'm scanning the top, looking for that last threat. And I spot two enemies in the distance. I go ahead and take shots on the one that's the farthest from cover. And I start to hear footsteps below me. I hear him getting closer to the end of the building. Go ahead and get the thirst, but instead of engaging the second enemy, I start to focus the push from below. This is the enemy that I was chasing all along. He pushes me in a bad situation. And if I had been thirsty to put some shots on that second enemy, I probably would have got shot in the back there. So now we've got three teams, eight players. It's us versus two teams of two. I don't want to jump down yet because one of those teams could come up here and shoot us from behind. I see that the second team gets wiped. Still 3v4. And I see him spill out towards the sneaky snake. Take the first one down trying to save him. And he pings a bouncing Betty that they are baiting for me while crawling back around the outside. So I'm going to take a lower route so I can jump without parachuting and taking any damage to get away from that. Fortunately, I'm not able to get him in time. I jump down, which the enemy can hear, snag the flare get some messy shots on this guy he's got some movement so I hit the flare and I back inside the building this is an insurance policy if I need to come from above to take this guy in the final push out I have enough mask if you like this kind of content like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next I am so appreciative of all the love that you guys have shown the channel and the videos lately. And I definitely want to continue to develop this into something so much more. Uh, the whole point, again, of this channel is to get you to think outside the box. Get you to realize the decisions that you make are what hurt you in the long run. Uh, if you change your thinking, you're going to change the outcome of some of these games that you could have won or could have broken that PR. So keep building, keep adapting, sit rep out.